Okay, we're going to go over a different type of a oblique bend or a pedal steel type bend. Right here in the first beat in this measure, I want to do the same exact thing, notes and all, in the next beat. Now, I could just copy and paste, which I'll show you over here how to do that, but we're going to go ahead and do it from scratch. So, we'll start with the seventh fret on the first string, and it's going to be an eighth note. So I have my eighth note selected. I'm going to go ahead and hit escape. So there you go. There's my eighth note over here. Click onto that line and I'll type seven on the numbers above the letters on my keyboard. And then I'm going to go ahead and preemptively think about this pre-bend. Okay. This note is going to be an eight. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit, or the, uh, hit on the eight on the second string. And then I'm going to turn it into a grace note pre-bend by hitting the pre-bend button, which I got to I'm going to the second menu over here, click onto the pre-bend, then I click onto the number eight on the second string. Then I'm going to put six right there on the new pre-bend note, and I'll go ahead and type J for, uh, for the bend. All right, so there is the pre-bend, and of course I want it to pull down and stop here at the sixth fret on the uh, second string. So go ahead and go back to the keypad, hit escape, and go to my eighth note, oh, hit my eighth right there, and I'm gonna click right to here, and it looks like we have a rest thing here, so I'm gonna take the rest off and turn it to an eighth note. Excellent, it'll be an eighth note. All right, so, and we want this to be a six. Let's try again, and I was wrong, I do need it to be a quarter note. So let's make that a quarter note. Six, okay. Next, I'm going to head back to the keypad, hit escape so nothing wonky happens. Go to eight. I'm going to type in J again. If I didn't mention, that's how I got the bend to come up earlier here on the sixth uh, fret on the second string, is I just type J. And then just bring that over here a little bit, kind of connect it. Oh, oh man, it doesn't like that. All right, now well, I'll do a little better than that. Let's try it one more time. Wrong one. Huh. There we go. Oh, try it again. Won't let me connect. Okay. Let's see a little closer. Alright. I'll try to clean that up a little bit later. But now we can see the tab looks the same. I'm going to select the entire measure by just clicking somewhere where there's not a note or anything. And it's, and it's turned blue. I'm going to hit Control C for copy, then go up to the treble clef up above and hit Control V, and it's uh, pasted up there uh, the notes that I wanted. You can see the bin hats are a little bit messed up, so let's go ahead and fix those. Right over here. Oh, you know what? Let's see here. All right. I'll... Okay. Oh, that's not good. And a little bit. done. Okay. Let's see here. All right. In the next measure, I want the same thing to happen. So instead of going through all that again, I'm just going to select on this and hit control C and go to here and hit control V. It takes care of that. Now I know I could hit control V up here and it's going to move that up to there, but I might have to fix this, which I didn't fix over here yet, I guess, huh? Look at that. Oh. Okay. Didn't notice that in the beginning. Alright. Just a little bit more. That's a little nicer. Ah! Okay. Now, instead of just hitting Control V, it looks like this is what it looks like. All right, so yeah, all the bin hats are all, uh, all wonky and messed up. So I'm going to go over to here. I'm going to see if I can just con I can copy this one, the treble clef, and see if it, that doesn't happen. Nice. So I don't have to do all that work again. Well, there you go. It's another pedal steel type bin. Now, the other way that could, uh, um, well, I guess the one thing that kind of um, uh, messes this up a little bit is 
up here is technically not correct because this note here is going to be lasting underneath those. And we could go through and we could enter it in with two voices and that would be okay and it would be pretty accurate but it'll get kind of messy looking. So I noticed in some of the Hal Leonard books that they don't do that. Now I want to, I want to have a little bit more room in between the tablature and the treble clef so I have clicked into the text menu and then I'm just going to, actually I guess I have to move from the treble clef, there we go, so not the treble clef, the tablature, so I just grab the tablature part and I just drug it down a little bit, so basically it's really easy to fix this, all I'm going to do is I want to say to let it ring all the way through to there, okay, alright, so if I click on, I'll go up to notation, and in the lines part, I believe it's up here, I'm going to click the down arrow, and I've already used it a couple times, so here it is, it's, it's uh, under used under let ring, but if not, you just have to scroll down until you see it come up. Uh, under guitar, there it is again, let ring. But So I'll put that up here, and then I'm going to click on to that note, oh, and then I don't want it that far up, so now I'm going to grab to basically where that G is, you can see there's a line underneath it, I'm going to drag it all the way over to here. Okay, and then I want to basically grab the other end, the L, and you can see the line is staying. I still have to fix it. And there's a little arrow here connecting you to the note that you're trying to put it under. So, uh, trying to put it under, so that kind of helps. And move it over a little bit more. Okay, like that. And then we we'll have to drag this little game of cat and mouse here. All right, so this is the a little bit of an easier way to uh, instead of having to go through and add, you know, uh, two different voices. Um, on one staff. Alright, so there you go.